Yo, what up? Welcome to episode 2.5 of the Mind Game. We're not quite at episode 3 yet. We'll be there soon. First of all, we want to say thank you to all the people putting together these leagues and putting together content for these leagues. Uh, short disclaimer, this is only to make fun of and have fun with this game. This is not in any way to denigrate or disappoint anybody else. And I'm sorry if you feel sad, maybe you should get a hug. Let's go. It's National Cigar Day. I'm obviously not smoking right now. I'm at my desk. Don't smoke around your computer, kids. But later on, we have the Monte Cristo Platinum Series and probably some uh, Johnny Walker Black Label to cap off our Saturday night. But we're going to go right into the mine lane and why CB Rookies is just misunderstood. So first off, let's start with the makeup of CB Rookies. CB Rookies is a stacked roster. You can't help it. Their mid laner is a beast. Hi. The other mid laner is a beast. Their mid laner could start at ADC for your team. The other mid laner could start at support, mid, or jungle, or top maybe for your team. Our top laner is a beast. Our jungler is a beast. Our support's a beast. Our ADC is a beast. Our coaching staff, when they show up, are beasts. Our drafts are beasts, and that's it. I mean, I, I, it's not fair. If if you were playing childhood basketball and you get put together a team like Chubby Baby's Rookies, you'd be talking about, oh, oh, no, 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 that's a crush. Repick teams, repick teams, because we're that good. I'm sorry it's like that, but it is. Okay, so let's address this. I addressed it on Mine Lane 2.0, but this is really important. So we had a change in the top lane. Obviously, Chef Boy is no longer with us. Um, I don't know if he went to a new team or if he died once he stopped being a member of my team. That's not really my problem. If he died, my condolences to his family. I hope that they're okay. Um, if there's a GoFundMe for his funeral services, I will uh, donate to that or to the charity of your choice. If he's still alive, have fun. Be nice. Um, but there was a lot of talk about what we would do, what we would do. And like I said, in the mind lane too, um, you know, we, we good. We were honestly doing a lot to cater to people who are no longer on our team. Um, as far as both with our picks, our draft, how we operate it. Um, and again, I mentioned that already. I know I mentioned it Sunday night after everybody had made their content. Most of the people had made their content, but I mentioned that Sunday night. Uh, right here was to enable Chef Boy because he's good. A lot of the way we played was to enable Chef Boy because he's good. Um, and to make him feel comfortable, I feel like is the best way to put that. Um, a lot of risks we didn't take, or some things we did, was because to make him feel comfortable, and that's great. Cool, he's a great player. We did good. And as you can see in game one of our game on ZGG. Look at that. It's me, your boy, Little Rodney. Talks all, talks the most shit. Always talking about how he the fucking hard carry and he a beast. But I'm on the Seraphine because we going to get fucking brave rolling. Why are we getting brave rolling? Because y'all think some people even have PM'd that when they say our bot lane is the most overrated, that it's a lie because they don't do a lot of damage, even though they don't do a lot of damage because we put resources elsewhere instead of just giving them the resources to fucking hard carry. So we gave them the resources to hard carry. How'd that turn out? And, uh, let's see. And the mechanical. Uh, let's see. He's gonna be. Oh. It's like money boy is gonna uh brave again so we had two games we'll see if there's gonna be where he went fucking off combo, but that's so why because we put all the shit massive. on Momo brave goes next to nothing and that's gonna be helpers melting at the same time one the root is massive brave X look at that one. bear finding his second unstoppable double kill and that's going to be in the nexus towers already starting so it turns out when we have the flexibility to play different shit because we can play to try and hard enable the bot lane because we don't have to play a super scaling mid laner because we don't I mean I don't want not to not to take from what Psych did. Psych came in and played like a fucking monster. But when we don't have to worry about top, we literally told him like, Hey bro, we gonna leave you alone and we generally left him alone and he just did what he did. Um turns out you could turn your bot lane into a monster. 
who knew their favor not only are they were they doing well since the bay Bay blades loss in zgg they're undefeated right now in edl i think right like they're on this upward move damn skippy but the fact that you lose one of your primary win conditions not even two full days before you have to play again that's a really good point doing well so it's a really really hard thing to over let me refute this we have five win conditions Actually, we normally got seven because most of our players also have two different win conditions. Like when we played AP Amumu, so in case the Amumu not putting out the damage, we just still have CC bottom Amumu. That's still a win condition because you can't win if you can't move. Like, I think you're just underestimating our ability to transform and adapt. I mean, they've got great players. They've got a really strong bot lane they've got true uh, a, a mid laner who likes to smoke nice cigars i mean you were working really hard to find something to compliment me on and that's disappointing so here's another one of the things that i think a lot of people missed in the analysis is that for all the resources that chef boy did get i ate the camps i ate the camps i ate the camps and i just kept winning kept going even in lane or winning and it's whatever, but again, this is what how a team scenario works, where for one person to succeed, someone may have to eat a little bit more. So I, and again, uh, I'm not calling for gangs. I'm saying, go get here, go get here. Hey, I'll rotate here. But the issue is, I, I, the disrespect, the disrespect. And I know y'all gonna put some respect on my name this week, I, I, I know because I had to show out on stream. Uh, shout out to Swag Boy for putting the money up to make sure y'all had to record it when I show out on stream so you could put some respect on my name finally. But, like, come on, man. Come on. They've given them the option. L let's start here. Let's start here, though. Full armor. I'm going to back this up a little bit. The Tristana response. Colonel's yeah. reaction right here. Opt into no I wish I had seen this live. Harry. Now, Shen and Volley Bear can both build full armor this like watch his face I, watch I him i don't know if the vola bear was picked he's like processing he's like wait what not. what did this but motherfucker really just pick tristana the option to go and then look look full armor stacking so i think that even though tristana is a great lane pick so sick it made so his close. webcam break right? his and webcam was like i can't capture what's going on in this man's face don't know because he doesn't know how to react wants to actually really good into rise if you want look at look, look look at my look at my chair start shaking my chair legit started shaking when he said tristana like i'm trying to play it cool i'm not trying to scream but i'm literally like trist trist oh my god bro like my leg is shaking i'm so excited i'm hype so i'm not gonna go real big on the tristana game because i mean i know y'all called that uh you didn't think uh i mean y'all know I mean, y'all know. If I get any of my nice little pocket picks, it's over. It's over. Call it a day. I understand that supposedly Tristana is only for counters now. Yeah, nah. It's just it, you can run anybody almost. But that's whatever. Um, I want to highlight my man Pitiful Junior though. So played the magnificent Seraphine. Played Seraphine far better than I do. Uh, obviously, uh, my Seraphine was a little lackluster. I actually missed a couple charms. All that good shit. But. Uh, on the brand so as much as i have a champion ocean okay just because i've been playing this game for so long uh, i say i'm gonna retire when i hit platinum because when i started playing platinum was the highest rank that's how long i've been playing this fuck ass game i think everyone's really kind of surprised at how i don't play brand but this man comes in plays brand we just gonna zoom it through look at him he he's he, he steps in He's going even. He's ahead. Look at him. He's ahead. He's get, he's getting kills. Everybody's popping off. Oh, you see the bot lane popping off again. Oh, you see the top lane popping off on a tank. On a tank. We have a top laner on a tank. I repeat, we have a top laner and CB rookies on a tank. Uh, I don't know what y'all going to do. I hope y'all are ready to adjust. Uh, our top laner is on a tank. And this shit is over, son. Over. Yeah.
And while I'm hyping them up now, I'm hyping up Pitiful, I'm hyping up Psych, because they stepped in and they stepped up above and beyond what anybody could have expected. Honestly, he played much better against a Galio mid than I have. Uh, when we played against Galio mid, I basically was like, oh, I'm going to just push him around in lane. And Galio was like, fuck lane. We're going to go murder everything. And we lost the game. Wasn't cool. But I need to highlight this. That's, that's fucking magnificent. That's a magnificent arrow. I don't know what else to say. I don't got shit else to say. Snowy. That was a fantastic arrow. Uh, Snowy, I believe you are uh, uh, female um, or identify as female um, or a femme. But, um, ma'am, that was a fucking fantastic arrow. That was some good ass shit. All right. That shit was stupid. I know you lost, but goddamn. So, in conclusion, I just want to remind you that not only are we better, we're thinking eight steps ahead. We have plans for plans for plans. And I'm not saying that, man, you know, we couldn't be better. Of course, we could be better. We're going to keep getting better, though. And that's the thing, though. We keep getting better. And we now we are unlocked. We are unlocked to play comps that do play for it's a 20 minute win condition. We got a speed run against ourselves. We playing against the clock. We're unlocked to play tanks everywhere. We're unlocked to play AP and Mumu. Like, I feel like you're not understanding. We just took it to the next level. Like, we was here. Now we here because we just like, nah, nah, let's just do what you feel and we'll make it work. Mind lane.